hi guys it's Michelle and I am back today as you can see I have a mess on my patio I have sprayed down the entire thing with the water hose I took all the furniture off everything was completely covered with pollen I'm going to show you how I make over the porch and I'll make sure to list where everything came from in the description box so let's go ahead and jump right on in after the porch has dried out I'm gonna center up this 5 by 7 rug right in the middle of the porch and then I'm gonna place all the furniture on top of the rug because that's gonna give it more of a cohesive feel like those pieces are supposed to be together and then I'm just gonna place all the cushions on top of the furniture um, all the cushions are from Burlington every all of these cushions are from Burlington and I did get them recently so I know they still have them and I am going with a very colorful theme because this is the outdoors and I wanted to be something fun and bright and cheery. And so I decided to go with yellows and greens and blues. I love it. On the yellow pillow, I bought the pillow. It's pretty plain. So I decided to add um, this black and white ribbon around it to match the, uh, the cushion, uh, the seat cushion. And I just tied a bow in the back. And these, these are 20 by 20 pillows. And I love this pineapple pillow. It's so cute. And I just have coordinating um, seat cushions and throw pillows in the two chairs. I do like to mix it up a bit to give it a more interesting look. And now these um, garden stools, they can be used as garden stools or they could be used as um, plant holders or side tables. I got these from Michael's and I have one on either side of the love seat and I have these candles here these are citronella and they are good for keeping away bugs like mosquitoes and flies and things like that now I have this yellow vase that coordinates with everything I just got some flowers from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna place those in the vase and put that on the coffee table because that's just gonna add a little bit of interest to the coffee table then I have another one of those candles and I have a towel here for you know when we have our drinks and I have some lemon coasters those are so super cute those are from Ross I got those from Ross and that's all I'm gonna put on the coffee table this is a relatively small coffee table so I don't want to do too much I want to leave space for a drink or a small plate and then in this corner here another thing that's really really important when you do an outdoor space is to add greenery if you can do real flowers that's fantastic I don't keep up with flowers very well so every all of these flowers are artificial um, but like I said if you can do real plants that would be awesome uh, it's just not for me but I just picked these daisies up from the Dollar Tree and I love the way those look and I have these two wall plaques I'm gonna give them a try I'm gonna put them up put them up um, in between where I have the curtains and I just want to see how it's going to look. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. Um, so I don't know if these are going to stay up there. But right now I'm okay with it. I want to show you how I hung the curtains. I hung the curtains using a PVC pipe and these brackets right here. So it was super easy. Um, I got the PVC pipes from Lowe's. And they will cut them to the dimension that you want in the store. I cut these myself. But they will cut them for you in Lowe's. And the bracket, I just installed those in the in the uh, wood using two wood screws. The curtains are actually outdoor curtains. They are from Burlington. They were $12.99 a pair. Um, if you can't find outdoor curtains, you could always use shower curtains. You could use drop cloths, painting drop cloths, or you could use sheets. And you could just spray it with a water repellent spray. I'll quickly show you how I have the curtains tied back. I'm just using the same black and white ribbon that I used on the pillows just to tie the, the two panels back. Um, and I could easily, um, you know, loose the ribbon if I wanted to spread the curtains out. So I just wanted to show you how I had that uh, tie back. Now, 
Now on the other side of the porch, this is sort of like my dining room area. Um, this is a tiny patio, so you have to kind of get creative. But this three-piece set right here I got from Ross. I think it was two years ago. But they still have it because I've seen it in the store recently. Loving the pineapple theme this year, so I'm going to go in with a couple of more pineapple pillows on the other side as well. Since we're going to be placing our food on the table, I'm just going to put a small centerpiece and two tea light candle holders that I got from the Dollar Tree and just keep the table clear. On this side of the patio is where I have my table where I place my food and my drinks. It's really important when you have a small space like this to have some place to put down the food because the table and the coffee table it, they're just not very big so this gives me the opportunity to put my drinks like I have here right now and if I was going to be serving food then I could put food on this as well. Um, it's just a good way to be able to um, display your food where you don't have to keep running back and forth to the kitchen. This is the finished look. I want to thank you all for watching. And check out my new online women's clothing site. It's called redrams.com. The link is below. Guys, I, I have a lot of pictures at the end of the video. So if you have any questions, just let me know. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.